Hi, I'm Heather French Henry, the host of Heart of Gold, a monthly program whose mission is to highlight examples of what makes Louisville, Kentucky the most compassionate city in the world, as declared by Mayor Greg Fisher. This series features local nonprofit organizations of all shapes and sizes, which are working to improve the quality of life for all Louisville citizens. Thank you for joining us, and a special thanks to WHS-TV for generously producing this series. This segment features Boys and Girls Clubs of Kentuckiana. Boys and Girls Clubs of Kentuckiana's mission is to inspire and enable all young people, especially those in need of services, to realize and develop their full potential as productive, responsible, and caring citizens. Every day they provide kids what they need and want most. Adults who respect and listen to them, a safe environment where they can have fun and be themselves, and interesting constructive activities that channel youthful energy into challenging pursuits. Their dedicated staff, volunteers, and partners serve over 4,000 boys and girls ages 6 to 18 annually, helping them live better lives and create better futures. Well, we've got wonderful uh, guests here today. We've got some great advocates with uh, Jennifer Hogason, and she's the president and CEO of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Kentuckiana, Richie Logson, a unit director, and I think we're gonna see a special picture later on here in the show. And then Colby <laughs> Atkinson, who's the 2014 Youth Advocate of the Year. So congratulations. Thank you very much. I was saying, much. did you get a crown and a sash to go with that, right? Uh, <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> well, Jennifer, let's start with you. Sure. Um, tell us a little bit about the program that Boys and Girls Clubs offer? Great. So Boys and Girls Clubs, we are an out-of-school time provider, uh, meaning that we are open after school Monday through Friday from 2.30 until 8 p.m. and we serve kids ages 6 to 18. So we we have everybody. <laughs> we have oh, elementary, yes. we have middle, we have high school, um, and we provide services around academic success, character and leadership, and healthy lifestyles. All of our clubs, we have five club locations. We have uh, three in Louisville and two in Southern Indiana. And all of our club locations have activities um, going on throughout the, the day and the evening um, around art, again, the, the academic components. And then we also feed our kids in a dinner each night. We have um, a partnership with Dare to Care, so we have Kids Cafe. We served nearly 50,000 meals last year to kids who needed us most. What about the membership? Is the membership a fee? Is, is it cost? We ask Ask that kids contribute fifteen dollars, one five, for an annual membership, and that includes everything. That's that includes all year long. All year long, uh -huh, including the summer activities and field trips as well. Okay. So we want any kid who wants to get involved with boys and girls clubs to have that opportunity. Excellent. Now, are there ways that people can? can actually donate to pay for kids who may not have that $15? Absolutely. We have um, sponsorship programs. So a, a family or an individual can sponsor kids for the entire year. And that way, uh, for kids who may or may not have that ability, we have that, that cost covered. But Richie and, and Kobe will tell you that the kids, they want to um, feel like they are earning their membership. To contribute. Exactly. So many of them will actually serve at Kids Cafe, or they will help rent out um, activities and book, you know, whether it's um, the pool sticks for our, our pool activities or uh, library books and things like that. They'll get involved and, and work towards their, their membership. Yeah. Now, Richie, I don't mean to throw you on the hot seat, but um, tell me about your experience with the Boys and Girls Club, and I think we're going to have a little special clip here in just a second. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, well, my experience goes back well over 30 years. I was a member of the Boys and Girls Club when I was eight. Uh, became involved with the Boys and Girls Club. I attended a feeding program that was around the corner uh, at St. Cecilia Church. Oh, all those years ago. And here we are. There Look you at are. You. So cute. Not much difference <laughs> no. than today. No. <laughs> Looks no. the same. Hair maybe. <laughs> Well, that was in style back then. I was actually, I was in style then. So. Kind of looks like it's in style right now, actually, too. I don't, I don't think I can get it back. <laughs> so what did Boys and Girls Club do for you? Well, it kept me off the street. Um, uh, helped me as far as with my, my choices in life. Uh, uh, great mentors. As much trouble as I got in at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, all the last chances that I got. So all that support over the years. And then... Um, helping me get through school, helping me, um, you know, like I said, make the correct choices. Uh, it just became my life's work. Uh, I still have um, mentors today that I met through the Boys and Girls Club that I'm still in contact with. And then in turn, I try to be, you know, a great example for our kids as well, so. How important do you think that it is for uh, youth to have this experience and to have a place to go that have people that care for them? Well, it just helps them as far as uh, with us giving them the tools that they need to be successful. 
uh, just knowing that there's a person out there who cares about you, who will listen to you, who will feed you, who will make sure that your basic needs are being met and going to offer you real practical advice about decisions that you make, um, um, the importance of education and working hard and, and, wh and where you can be with that. Um, so, I mean, every day in my community, I'm, I'm there. Um, I'm accessible. My, my alumni kids call me all the time. Uh, I'm there for our club kids. And then we, we hold them to a high standard at our club. So kids will rise uh, to the level of expectation. And we, that's what we demand at our club. Good for you. And to see you as the, the product of, of success coming through the program and to see you, that's got to make them feel great. So thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. Certainly. And of course, we have uh, Colby, who is our State Youth of the Year for 2014. So tell me your experience about being a club member and mm -hmm. then when you were re the recipient of this wonderful title. Well, my journey at the Boys and Girls Club began about four or five years ago. You know, it just started as a place for me and my friends to hang and, you know, play ball and stay out of trouble. And eventually, after meeting all the staff and getting more involved and closer with everybody, it became a little bit more. They became mentors and leaders and people I came to when I needed help or if I just wanted to talk to somebody. And then, then came, <laughs> then, then came uh, 2013 when they uh, began talking to me about the Youth of the Year program, which was something that looked at to recognize people who was involved in the community did great inside, did great in school, and was a leader inside and outside of school. So they figured that I was the perfect candidate for it, and I was a little bit scared to do it. I didn't <laughs> think I was going to win anything. But no pressure, no, right? No, no pressure. pressure. <laughs> but they they mentored me, they taught me, and they helped me gather my speech and worked on my presentation skills and interviewing skills. So that not only did I win the local competition, but I also won the state competition and made it all the way to the Midwest Regional Competition in Chicago. Excellent. And you're just about ready to start college now, yes, right? I moved in today, actually. <laughs> wow. So they set their expectations high and you met those expectations yes, and you're going to keep on kind of overcoming all those I expectations. I will continue to try my best and make them proud. Oh, I think you're going to do great, Cole. Yeah, we expect great things from you, certainly. You. Now, Jennifer, tell me about any special needs or drives that you're going to have throughout the year that people in the community can be involved in. We um, always have a need for school supplies. So back to school or throughout the year, uh, many of our kids need to be kind of have those those supplies restocked. So uh, school supplies are, are wonderful. Um, at the holiday, during the holiday time, we also have um, a holiday gift wrapping event. So we are always in need of individuals to sponsor kids for the holidays. And um, that happens in uh, December. And we, we have a, an event where all volunteers, I mean, throughout the community come together and we wrap all day long presents for the kids that they take home for the holiday. So it's a celebration and it's, it's really uh, something special to be a part of. Well, I think that's great. Any way we can get our communities involved in giving back, and especially for future generations, right? So we have to help exactly. encourage them by being involved, yes, right? Absolutely. That's excellent. So more people can get involved. How? How would you like to see people get involved as far as finding out information? Do they go on a website? Is it, um, I think your website is www.bgcky. Correct. ANA.org. That is that is correct. Okay. Or they can call our office at 502-585-5437. Excellent. Thank you so much, yeah, the Boys and Girls Club. You all do great work, and I know you're going to be great, so we'll look for you as a future leader here in <laughs> Louisville you. and Kentucky, maybe yes. even national. Who knows, right? <laughs> Who knows? Sky's the limit, certainly. Thank you for joining us for Heart of Gold, and thank you to Boys and Girls Club of Kentucky, Anna, for the compassionate work you're doing to serve the youth in our community. Thank you.